nice big dough in front of themselves. Well, it has so much air. It has so much air in it. How? How? And how does it swag, Astrid? Uh, so basically, oh, that's a nice one there, huh? Uh, the way to check if your dough is ready, so this is quite important for sourdough and yeasted dough and all these things because timing is going to be different even like from day to day when you do the same recipe um, and the temperature of your water will be different, the temperature of your kitchen will be different so it's much better to know what you're looking for in your dough instead of going by time. And have one of these? Have one of those. So if you have a little bit of flour on your dough and you poke your dough you should be able to leave an indentation that doesn't spring back. It springs back. It can spring a little bit back, but you see Esther is demoing over here. Ooh. So if I poke it, do you see how it doesn't spring back? So we're leaving lots it of indentations. Is. That's cool, huh? That's it springs back. Try and see if you can pop it. Um, so for those of you who are not adding any commercial yeast in any of the dry or the fresh yeast into your dough, this is quite important because your dough won't be ready just yet because it's only been four hours, but this is how to check when your dough is ready. Um, and if in doubt, just take it out. Right. Just take it out. Take it out. Have one of these two. Yep. So if you're using a tin, you're going to grease it now. If you're Have using one a... of these. <laughs> it is ready. Yeah, a good commercial here. If you're using a proving basket, you want to give it some flour. So a bit of... Strong flour, I'll spit that on the worktop in front of you. And just for your proving basket, if you can get a hold of it, add a little, do you want to put some of that down there? Yes. Perfect. Uh, add a little bit of rice flour into your proving basket, that's going to ensure that your dough doesn't yeah. get stuck. Alright, so a bit of rice flour and strong stuck. flour. Yeah, but then you just need to put some down here. Yep. Uh, on the table. No, no liner in baskets? And not these ones, because they're paper mache. So depending on what kind of basket you have, you just need to follow the instructions um, when you buy it. So if it has a liner, you will buy it with a liner, otherwise it will just be plain like this. Right, so grabbing your dough scraper, you're going to get the dough out. Oh, okay, I'm going to do that for you, Mom. Oh, thanks, Esla. Oh, can you spread it out a little bit? Can you spread the flour out? Yeah. Uh, wicker? Yeah. Wicker basket? Yeah, but make sure you got lots of flour in it. So you don't need a liner. No. Just lots of flour. Lots of flour. Okay. Just a little bit. And then this is the fun part. So we're going to get rid of some of the air in here. So put your fingers everywhere. Come on, go for it. Yes. Uh, uh, Getting rid of the air. It's okay to wet your finger to indent it, right? Because the dough is sticky. Yeah, you could do that. What do you think, Aslan? Oh, is it sticky? It's, it's a, a little bit sticky. sticky. It's a little bit sticky. Right, so now we're going to show them how to shape it. Shape, stick on my hand. I know. But, 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 oh. Right. So with the dough in front of you, I'm just gonna grind the tools gonna. Yeah. You can touch it in one second, all right? Yeah. I'm gonna, if you have a look here everyone, I'm gonna take all the edges into yeah. the middle. Okay, I can do it. Can you do it for you? I can do it. Yeah, I can do it for you. Okay. So make sure you just, uh, you pull them in. And then you mean then you one more time? And you do one more time? Yes. Like that. You see how we have it? Esther and I, we created a small dough parcel. Yeah. And then, I'm going to flip it over. So now, if you look at the dough, there's no tension really on the outside. Yes, that's fine. I'm going to eat it. And it doesn't really have a shape. So what I'm going to do with my hands, I'm just going to show you here. I'm going to cup my dough. So I'm going to cup my dough and make sure that my hands are touching each other underneath. Do you want to have a go? Yeah. So make sure your hands are touching each other underneath. Oh. <laughs> we have to keep it on the table. Oh. My hand not Bit like that, but more like what I did before. This is good, Asla. You can come back anytime and bake. Does it feel good? Yes. Awesome. So, I'll give it a few more. So this way you're giving shape into your dough, right? So you're creating some tensions, you're giving some shape into your dough. So once you're happy with the shape, you see how it's nice and bouncy now, and it has tension, it's going to go in your proving basket. If it goes in your proving basket, it's going to go smooth side down. If it's going into your tin, it's going to go smooth side up. So if I'm not doing it in my tin, but if you are, you pop it in like that. If you're going into your proving basket, you flip it. And now if
if you're looking at your dough, there you go. Uh, you don't want a big gap right here. If there's a big gap, just squeeze it together with your fingers. And yes. now, Esther, can you give yeah. a little flour dusting on top here? Oh, okay, that's good. That's good. So a little bit of flour goes on top here. So smooth side down and the seam side up here. Bit of flour. Okay. Yeah, I know you can. You're great. You're such a good assistant. And then once you've done that, you're going to grab your shower cap. That's the yellow one, Esther. Yep. Yep. Uh, and Sophie wants to know if, we can, if they can leave tips for Astrid. <laughs> Do you want to leave some tips for her? <laughs> Ooh, huh? That's lovely. Oh, I don't know what you mean. You don't know what she means, that's what you're saying. You don't get any tips just yet. Tips? Tips? What does tips mean? What does tips mean? Yeah. And then you're going to grab your shower cap and just pop it on here. Woo! Like that. And then the reason we added a bit of Esla, added a bit of flour on the dough is that now if my dough, when my dough touches my shower cap, it doesn't get stuck because I have the flour there. It's good, right? Oh, yeah. Do you have it? Any other things you want to say? Mm. Is that it? No. No, that's it. Any question, guys? Does it make sense? Hi. Hi. Hi, Mila. So this is going to go in here for two hours and then we're going to meet again at eight o'clock. Uh, Liz, Liz, Liz's full plate is asking, what about the gaps again? Pinch them, Liz. And if you have too much flour, just put a bit of water down so you can get the dough to pinch together. You don't want a big gap in there because that means there will be less tension in your dough. And Cristala says, do you have a tin, the tin with cling film? Yeah, you can put cling film on top of that. And then Priya Gill123 says, sometimes my shower cap sticks to the dough when it's in the fridge. Will the flour help? Yep. So the flour will keep it from sticking. Exactly. Yeah, it's yeah. Crazy so dust barrier. the top. Yeah. Dust the top. Okay. Then I got but, some thumbs up. Bam, bam. But if your dough does get stuck on plastic, the best way to get it off is a little handy tip. Put a bit of water on your scrape and then just scrape it off. Yeah. Don't just pull it because then you tear it. Yeah, then it just it goes right. tear it. So guys, at 7.30 p.m., so in an hour and a half, you're going to start preheating your oven. Make sure when you preheat your oven, that you have a deep roasting tray in there and the tray you're going to bake on. That's important. You're going to preheat it to 230 degrees at 7.30. We've been at a request for a close-up on the dough in the basket. Oh, you want to show them? Can you take it, can you take it off? Okay. All right, that's we'll take it off and put it back on. Whoa. So that's our dough. Wow, okay. Is that good? And then that's Astrid. And then, um, think non-sticky oh, thoughts. It doesn't go yet. It only goes, these shower caps are only for fruit. Right, Astrid? And head. First try, Lululu says, first try with a proving basket. Wish my loaf luck. So make sure that you completely flower your proving basket. This is yep. important. And also your proving baskets. You don't um, ever want to wash them. Just tap them out when you're done using them. I'll leave it on my head. And then Priya yeah. says thanks, but the bit of dough is wet and sticky. Is it still okay to bake? Yeah. Oh, Probably by the time. And then um, someone else says, can we do the 8 p.m. step a bit later, like 9 p.m.? Yeah, but you might want to put your dough in the fridge then. What's the Not sure that one meets health standards anymore. I don't know. Uh, yeah, if you're going to leave it for longer, you, you just maybe leave it out just for an hour and then put it in the fridge for the next two hours. Don't ever, I know, you're amazing, Esther. Don't ever think you, it'll be fine just to leave your dough for a bit longer or like leave it, like say that um, you want to leave it overnight and you think, oh, it's going to be fine out on the kitchen counter and Sophia I'm looking at you. It won't. Most likely it's going to improve. Um, so just put it somewhere cold. The fridge is your friend, it's why you buy yourself time. So any time that you you need like another hour, another eight hours, just put your dough somewhere cool because that slows down your yeast and it actually creates more flavor in your dough, so it's a good thing. But just don't crush your fingers and hope for the best. One more question. Yeah. Uh, Liz's full plate says, remind us about the pan to cook the bread on. I don't have a stone. No, don't, it's not, just a regular baking tray. Do you want to bring the tray over? Yeah, it's a little bit warm. Uh, do you want to bring one of the... I'll bring it out. Just to 
I'm gonna do my stuff. Or you want me to bring it over? I'll come to you. So this. Just, just one that comes with the oven, right? Yeah, this yeah. is the one that comes with the oven. And the black paper is just my baking parchment. So that's reusable. And then Cristala is asking, do we need to put it in the fridge now? No, 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 that was just, if you're not gonna bake with me at eight o'clock, you, you should chill it now. If you're baking with me in two hours, just leave it out of room temp. Cool. Uh, and last thing, if you're not gonna bake in a tin or freestanding, which is what this is gonna end up being, and you have like a Pyrex, anything in glass, I think I would highly recommend greasing and lining it with a baking parchment. Mark is coming towards me. Someone wants a close-up of the oven. Okay. Yeah. So, maybe open it? So you got the... So what's on top? Are you, are you asking? Yeah. This? Yeah. This is the baking tray. And then... Roasting tray. And the roasting tray. You need both. You need both. Okay. And when I see you at 8 o'clock, you can uh, put your kettle on at 5 to 8 because you need 100 grams of boiling water at 8 o'clock. And just pop that in too. Jug. We're going to bake with some steam. And there's lots of thumbs up. That, and then finally, finally. Yeah. I think we got us some. Why well, I think this one in front of that and that. Yep, lots of that's thumbs up. That's lots it. Of thumbs up. So, 100 milliliters of boiling water when I see you at 8. And if you've got a serrated knife, tomato knife, one of those as well. Does that make sense? Boiling water, knife, go. I want a little hat one. And a little hat on if you got it. That's it. Alright, I'll see you in less than two hours. Don't forget to turn your ovens on at 730 or 230 degrees. Mom, can I turn something? In one second, you certainly can. Alright, thank Great. you guys. Everyone's see you happy. later.